everyone and welcome back to Grace Crochets. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how I made this super cute mini tote bag. I'll open it up real quick. I love having these for the summer just to store stuff in that are cute and I can carry around. I just have yarn here, of course. But it has a cute little drawstring at the top that you can tie. And then I added a little loop on the back so I can hang it up as I did in the thumbnail. And then on the back, I have these cute little handles that I made. And let's take a look at it. So when we get started, we're going to start at the bottom. You're going to start in a magic circle with eight double crochets and then increase by eight for every round. And you guys can make it however big or however small you want to. You don't necessarily have to do as many rounds as I did. And we'll get started in just a second, but the yarn that I used, let's see, is Yarn B, Yarnatopia, in the colors Cerulean, Heather, Ivory, and this is the one that I used as the main color, Ocean, and Spice. So, let's get started. To begin working on the first round, you're going to start off with a magic circle. And you can make your magic circle any way you want. I'm going to show you how I do it. I'll take it and I'll wrap the yarn around my fingers like so. I'm going to insert my hook into this big loop right here and pull my working yarn through. I'm just going to let that dangle. I'm going to take my working yarn and pull it through the one loop that is on my hook. Now this, this stitch doesn't count as anything, I just use it to keep everything in place. So it should look something like this. Now, within this big circle, you can do your first round. This is going to be eight single crochets, or you can do double crochets. It really doesn't matter which, because we're going to be switching to double crochets, but for some reason, I always prefer to do single crochets for my first round for everything, so that's what I'm going to do. So you're going to insert your hook into the big circle. Yarn over. You shove two loops on your hook. Yarn over. And pull through both of those loops. That's one single crochet. Let's do another. Here is two. Insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two of the loops. Now I have three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And if you're still confused on this magic circle technique, I have a video on my channel that explains it more in depth. And it explains why I use it um, compared to the other techniques of a magic circle. So now that you have your eight single or double crochets, you're going to take your tail end of your yarn and pull it. This is what's going to create the magic circle look. And then you're going to place a slip stitch into the very first stitch that you did for the round. All right, there you are. And now you can begin working on round two. Now from this round fourth, you're going to be placing eight increases per round. So for this round, once we finish, we'll have 16 double crochets. And if you're familiar working with or in the round, um, you know that the most popular technique to begin the round is to chain two. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's just not what I like to do. I just think that when you chain two, that part tends to stand out a bit. So what I will do is I will draw up my loop just a little bit. I'm going to place my finger on the loop that's on my hook. Now I'm going to essentially yarn over with that, that loop that I drew up. So like so. 
and then I will insert my hook into the same space that my that the last stitch was in. Going to yarn over and drop that loop. So you'll have three loops essentially on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two of the loops, and at this point you can take your index finger off, yarn over, pull through the next two loops. So it looks more like a double crochet than a chain two does. And now in that same space that I just inserted my hook, I'm going to place another regular double crochet. And that right there, because we placed two double crochets into one stitch, that is called an increase. So we're going to do seven more increases. All right. But now we're going to be inserting our hook into this space here. So to do a double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into the next space. Sorry if you can hear my cat. Yarn over and drop a loop. So you'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two of the loops, yarn over, pull through the last two. So now you have one double crochet in that stitch. So you're going to place another one in that same space. Right there. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and draw up a loop. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two of the loops, yarn over, pull through the next two. So now you have two increases with a total of four double crochets. I'll do one more increase with you guys. So yarn over and insert your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two of the loops. Yarn over, pull through the next two. We now have one double crochet in that stitch. We're going to place one more in there to make the increase. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same space, and draw up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through the next two. Now we have a total of three increases with six double crochets in total. Now you're going to do five more increases, and when you finish the round, I would go back and double check that you have a total of 16 double crochets. Now that you have double checked that you have 16 double crochets, you can begin working on round three. And if you are familiar working in the round, then you're going to know that each of your increases, like this is an increase right here, you will know that all of your increases will stack on top of each other. So I know that there's going to be an increase there in that stitch once I get there. That's just a helpful tip. But let's begin working on round three. I'm going to do the same thing with pulling up my loop so I can do a double crochet. I'm going to insert my hook into that same stitch right there. And place a double crochet. And there is not an increase there, so I know I'm starting off with just one double crochet. But into this stitch, that's where I'm going to place my increase. There is one double crochet. Because it's an increase, I'm going to insert my hook into that same stitch. And right here, there is no increase, so I'm going to place just a regular double crochet. So the pattern for this round, for this row, is increase, single crochet, or increase, double crochet, increase, double crochet. So we, here is just one double crochet, here's our increase, double crochet. So we know that the next one is going to be an increase, 
and that lines up with our previous increase from the previous row. So we know we're on track. There's my increase. So I know the next one is going to be one double crochet. And after you do your one double crochet, you're going to place another increase, and I'm going to check to see if that's where I place it. And here is an increase from the previous row. And you're going to follow that pattern of one double crochet, two double crochet for the increase. One double crochet, two double crochet for the increase until you reach the end of the round. And after you've completed round three, you should have 24 stitches because you just increased by eight again. Now let's begin on round four. I'm going to do the same thing, drawing up a loop yarning over with that loop and inserting my hook and placing one double crochet. Okay. Now I know that the pattern is for this uh, round it's going to be one double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochet for the, in for the increase. So here's one double crochet, so I know that the next one is going to be just one more regular double crochet. And here I see my increase from the previous row. So I know that I'm going to stack this next increase on top of that, if that makes sense. So there we are. And like I said, the pattern for this row is one double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochet, one double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochet. And I'll work it with you for a second. So I just did my increase, so I know I've got to do another double crochet in this stitch, and then in the next stitch, another double crochet. Now I have my increase next, and I'm just going to double check that's where I should be placing my increase. Yep. So here are two double crochets in the same stitch for the increase. Now one double crochet in that stitch, one double crochet into the next stitch. Now I have my increase. And again, I'm going to double check that this increase will be stacked on another increase from the previous row. So I'm going to place two double crochets into the same stitch. And at this point, you can see all of the increases starting to line up. So here's one from the second row, the third, and now the fourth. Now just continue on with this pattern for this row of double crochet, double crochet, two double crochet. Now after you've completed this row, you should have 32 stitches all the way around. Let's begin working on the next row. You can do your chain two, or you can do this. Okay. So the pattern for this row is going to be double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, increase. So three double crochets all in separate stitches, and then in the fourth stitch place two double crochets for your increase. And I'll show you all. So here is one double crochet to start off for this round. Here is my second, and my third. Now after I have three double crochets, all in separate stitches, I'm going to place my increase into the next stitch. And again, just like always, I'm going to double check that this increase is going to be stacked on top of all of the other increases from the previous rows. And it is, so I'm going to go ahead and place two double crochets 
into that stitch. Just like that. All right, let's continue. So in the next stitch, one double crochet, next stitch, another double crochet, in the next one, one more double crochet. So now that I've done my three double crochets all in separate stitches, I'm going to place an increase. I'm going to double check that this one here is an increase, and it is. There is my first and my second double crochet. Oops. And you're going to continue with that pattern now of three double crochets all in separate stitches and then your increase. So two double crochets into the fourth stitch. Alright, and after this round you should have 40 stitches total. So let's begin on the next round. Do your beginning stitch. This is how I do my double crochet. Okay. Now the pattern for this row is going to be double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, increase. So four double crochets all in separate stitches and then you're going to have your increase on that fifth stitch. So here's one double crochet. I'm going to work into the next stitch. There's my second and my third, fourth, and here's the fifth stitch where my increase is going to be. I'm going to double check, make sure that my increases are stacking, and they are. So here are my four double crochets and then my increase. I'll do another section with you guys. So one double crochet, another double crochet, here's my third, fourth, and there's my cat everyone. And then into the fifth stitch is going to be my increase. And there you are. You're going to continue that pattern of four double crochets and then your increase for the rest of this round. And then you're going to continue with that pattern by increasing by one stitch in between each increase. So for the next row, it's going to be five double crochets and then your increase. And then the row after that, it will be six double crochets and then your increase. Then seven and eight until you have your desired size for your bag. Here, I'll zoom out here. For the base of my bag, I have 18 rows from here until here. So that means 18 increases, and now you don't have to necessarily make it as big as I did. You can make it smaller, you can make it bigger. Just depends on what you guys want for your tote bag. But after you get your desired size for the base, you can begin working on the body of the bag. Now after you have the base of your bag to its desired size, you can begin working on the actual body of the bag. And once you're at your last row, you're not going to finish it off with a slip stitch just yet. You're going to insert your hook where you normally would for a slip stitch, but instead of yarning over with your current color, you're going to yarn over with your new color and pull through. And then I cut off the red color just with scissors. Now I'm going to take these two and just knot them. It makes it a lot easier to work with. Okay. All right, and now I can begin working on my next row. And how I start off doing that is how I have been. So you can either do 
uh, your chain two that represents a double crochet, or you can do the double crochet that I've been doing. Um, but I'm going to show you real quick. For this bag, I was working in eight stitch sections all around. So I'm going to do seven double crochets. Here is one double crochet. Here is my second. Number oops, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. Now you're going to yarn over twice because we're going to be doing a treble crochet. But we're not going to be placing it into the next stitch. What we're going to do, this is how you get the cool pattern look right here. You're going to yarn over twice and do what's called a front post treble crochet. You're going to go down two rows. So this is the row that you're working on. Right here is the previous row. And then this is the second row, okay. You're going to go to the increase that would be right here. And you're gonna go in and out and place your hook behind the first stitch of the increase, if that makes sense. So there's my increase. And here's the first stitch. And I'm gonna place my hook just in and out behind it. I'm going to yarn over and pull my hook through. You should now have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two of those loops, yarn over, pull through the next two, yarn over, and pull through the last two. So you just did what's called a front post treble crochet. And let's continue. So because you didn't place the treble crochet into this stitch, you're going to skip to the next one and just place another double crochet for the next section. So you're going to do another seven double crochets. Here's one, two, oops, three, four, five, six, and seven. Whoops, looks like I've got a knot here. And after you have your seven double crochets, you can begin working on the next treble front post stitch. You're going to yarn over twice and do the same thing. You're going to look two increases down which for me is right here. Now you're going to look at the first double crochet of that increase. So after you have yarned over twice, you're going to insert your hook behind that double crochet. Show you again. Here's the increase from the previous row. Here is my increase from the row before that. And there, is the first double crochet of that increase. I'm going to place my hook behind it, yarn over, and pull through. Now that I have four loops on my hook, I'm going to yarn over and pull through two loops, two loops, and two loops to finish off the treble crochet. Okay, let's do one more with you guys. Here's the next stitch that you're going to skip because that's where you would have placed just another regular double crochet. So you're going to skip that and work into that stitch right there. And place seven more double crochets. There's one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. Same thing, yarn over twice. 
here is the double, or here is the increase from the previous row. Here is the increase from the row before that, okay? Now we're going to be working with the double crochet, the first double crochet of that increase, okay? So insert your hook behind there, yarn over, and draw up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then pull through the last two. You're going to continue that pattern for the rest of this row, and then I'm going to show you guys how to continue on with the next row. Alright, and after you have finished your last front post treble crochet, you can finish off the round with a slip stitch, but instead of finishing it off with the same color that you've been using, you're going to switch to a new color. And I'm going to use the color Heather that I was talking about at the beginning of this video. Yarn over and pull through. And that's how you get that seamless color change. Um, I'm going to do the same thing by taking these two tail end of the yarn. I'm just going to tie them together. Okay. Now I can begin working on my next row. Going to draw up a loop, draw up a loop like I have been, and then place a double crochet into that same stitch that my yarn is coming out of. Okay, right there, and place a double crochet. I'm going to place, oops. I'm going to place six more double crochets. So that was one, this is two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now after I've completed my seventh double crochet, I'm going to place another front post treble crochet. I'm going to yarn over twice, and I'm going to look at the stitch that is right here. It's kind of behind the front post they did from the previous row. I'm going to stick my hook behind it. And pull through. So now I have four loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, and pull through two loops. And then after that I'm going to continue as I did, just like the previous row, with seven more double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Once again, going to yarn over twice and insert my hook behind, I'm going to go two rows down and insert my hook behind this stitch here. Yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops, two loops, and the last two. So now your project should look something like this. I'll do one more little section with you all. Alright, so seven more double crochets. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, let's get more yarn, and seven. Once again, yarn over twice, look two rows down, 
and insert your hook behind this stitch there and complete your treble crochet. Okay, and you're gonna continue this pattern all the way around for this row and I'll meet you guys back here to show you how to continue on to the next row. Okay, now as you have seen here, I have already done my color change for the next row and I'll just do one more row with you guys. I'm gonna draw my loop and place my double crochet. Okay, I'm going to place six more double crochets. There's, whoops. There's three, four, five, six, and seven. And if you guys choose to do the same pattern as me, alternating between a color and then the ivory color, so I'm in ivory every other row, when you do your front post treble crochet, you are always going to be placing your uh, treble crochet into the same color ivory, if that makes sense. So we're going to do our front post treble crochet. There we are. Let's do seven more double crochets. There's one, two, three, four, five, oops, six, and seven. Okay. Yarn over twice, go two rows down, place your hook behind that double crochet, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through the last two. So go ahead and continue with this pattern for however long you want, for however long you want your bag to be. And then I'm going to show you all, let me undo this for you. I'm going to show you all how I did this section here. Now after you finish with the body of the bag, you can begin working on this part that has the drawstring on it. As you can see here, I finished with the color ivory. That was the last color I used for this pattern. And then after, I had, after the last row with this pattern, I had one more full row of just double crochets. And then after that row, I had an entire, almost an entire row of double crochets, except every eighth stitch, I left a hole with a drawstring to go through. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do right now. Okay, so as you can see here, I have a couple rows of double crochet. Now for every eighth stitch, like I said, I'm going to leave a hole. So here is one double crochet. Here's my second my third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. Okay, I have seven double crochets. So now I'm going to chain one, skip the next stitch, and place a double crochet into the second stitch from your hook. And that's how you create that hole right there. So we're going to repeat what we just did. So now I have two double crochets. I'm going to do five more. So here's three, four, 
Oops. Five, six, and seven. And again, after your seventh double crochet, chain one and place a double crochet into the second stitch from your hook. You're going to skip this one and insert here. Oops. That's how you create the hole for your drawstring to go through. You're going to continue that pattern around for the rest of this row. And after you've completed the row that has all of those holes in it, you're going to place two more rows all uh, filled with double crochets. I'm going to show you how to do this next row with the holes. There's two. Three double crochets. Four. Oops. Five. Six. And seven. After your seventh double crochet, you're going to meet this big hole that you created. And you're just going to insert your hook right into it and place a double crochet. And then continue on like normal. Go ahead and finish this row, and then place one more row of double crochets. Then I'm going to show you all how I made these drawstrings here. Zoom out a little bit. How I made this loop here, and how I made these handles. Okay, so let's finish off the bag learning how to do these cords. Now these cords are called eye cords and they're really easy to make. They just take a little bit. Let's zoom in here. You're going to start off with whatever color you want and make a slip knot. Okay. You're going to chain two. One, two. Now you're going to insert your hook into that first chain and pull up a loop, like so. Draw it out just a little bit and take your hook out. Now without losing that loop, you are going to yarn over and chain one. Now you're going to reinsert your hook into that loop and chain one. Draw up that loop just a little bit, pull your hook out, and again, without losing that loop, you're going to yarn over and chain one. Reinsert your hook into that loop once again, and chain one. Now it's just a repeat of this. Pull your loop out, yarn over, chain one, Reinsert your hook, yarn over, pull through only one of the loops, take your hook out, yarn over, chain one, insert your hook again, yarn over, pull through one of the loops, take your hook out, yarn over, Pull through, reinsert your hook, yarn over, pull through one loop. And that's how you get an I cord. It's a little monotonous, but I like this a lot better than anything else that I've done. I just think it looks the best. Um, I'm going to zoom out again. You're going to continue with the I cord that you're making until it's big enough to go through all of the holes that you made at the top of your bag for the drawstring. And pretty much you're, you're just going to weave it in and out, in and out, in and out. And then I tied mine off at the end. That way you can close it, tie a little bow. You're going to make another I cord 
if you want, this is optional, and have it on the back of the bag so you can hang it up just like that. And I'll show you how I connected it on the inside. Let's see. So here's the loop. I just inserted it and tied it together so it's not going to come out. You're going to make two more iron cords that are really long um, for these back straps. Again, these are optional. You can use your creative freedom um, and do something different. I just liked how these looked. And it doesn't, it honestly, I wanted it to look like a backpack but I didn't want to wear it like a backpack, if that makes sense. So I have two handles on the back that I really just hold them by with my hand. And you can see here that little green strip. If I can zoom in, that green strip right there is where I looped it in and out. I tied a knot there, and then tied another knot there, and reinserted my eye cord there. And for here, I did the same thing I did with, if I can find it, this back loop that I used to hang it up, I just inserted the two sides and tied it together. And that's how I made this bag. It, it really didn't take as long as I thought it would take. Um, it was a lot of fun. I really loved this pattern. I love these colors. And the way that it turned out, I just thought looked really cool. This is one of my favorite projects that I've made. And I really hope that you guys like it too. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them down in the comment section and I'll try to get back with you guys. And if you guys have any video suggestions, also leave those in the comment section. I would love to read those. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more.